Hi there, welcome to Creator Overview. Today we'll walk you through the process of using camera in Creator. You'll find the camera section in the left panel. Here there are two cameras, the viewport camera and the render camera. The viewport camera helps you see and adjust your scene from different angles while you work on it. On the right panel, you can change the background color, adjust the display size depending on the device you're creating the experience for. You can also set the area of the workspace captured by the camera by adjusting the FOV or field of view for the viewport camera. But remember, any changes made to the FOV of the viewport camera would not be reflected in the final render. Now let's understand the render camera. The render camera present in the viewport shows what will be in the final render. You can set it up to get the exact shot that you want with the right position and settings. The render camera has two modes. You can find it under the camera mode section. If you're trying to create an experience like this, where the camera's position is changing and the target position is changing, you can use the lock to target option. With this, the camera will focus on the target no matter where you place the camera. Let's create this stunning turnaround experience with the lock to target camera mode. Before you start editing the camera movements, make sure you're in the edit mode. For better control over the camera, enable show preview from the quick access toolbar. To align the camera in edit mode with the preview perspective, click on the three dots to find the snap to view option. Snap to view quickly focuses the camera on the target. Target is nothing but the point where the camera focuses. You can also control the camera and target using the gizmo. Select the camera helper in the viewport, then press the hotkey M and move the camera along different axes. Now set keyframes at various intervals to define the camera's positions. Ensure that the camera moves around the object smoothly to create a seamless turnaround effect. Switch to play mode and play the animation to preview. Notice the camera? While changing positions, it remains focused on the object due to the lock to target setting. Now let's move on to the second mode. If you're trying to create an experience like this, where the camera can be rotated and moved, use the freeform camera mode. Remember, switching between the lock to target and freeform options will delete any keyframes previously set for the target position and camera rotation. Adjust the FOV for the render camera using the slider in the right panel under camera settings. You can use animation blocks like camera zoom and pan with adjustable speed, direction and zoom level. Thank you for watching. For more information visit the knowledge center.